Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw this blue eye. For this drawing, I'm going to be using luminance colour pencils, but any colour pencils will work fine. I'll pop links in the description for all the materials I'm using today. Alright, let's start the drawing. I've already sketched the proportions of the eye out, and to do this I used a mid-tone luminance pencil. I always like to use the same pencils for the sketch as I'm using for the shading. You could use graphite very lightly, but there is more of a risk it will show through at the end. Now I'm going to start off this drawing on the iris and the very first job to do is to get the white areas down. So there's a couple of areas on the eye that are very bright white from the reflections and I want to mark those in first with the white pencil so it would be harder to go over the top with other colours. I will try and avoid these areas but it's just a little bit of a safety barrier. And now that I've got that down I'm going to cover the whole iris with a light grey colour. At this point I want the colour to be as smooth as possible so I'm using little circular motions and using the side of the pencil rather than the tip. I'm going to start using a slightly different grey now, it's much more of a very light brown grey to put some shading around the pupil. Blue eyes do have blue in them but they are also made up of a lot of different greys and as a general rule when I'm drawing I like to start at the light and work to the dark. That's why I'm starting with these lighter greys. To add this grey in, I'm working from the pupil outwards in tiny little lines to start building up some of the texture of the iris. Now I'm mostly focusing on getting this colour around the pupil, but there are some areas where I want to get it right towards the edge of the iris. Now when I selected colours to draw this iris, I selected three different blues. I've got quite a light blue, a mid blue and a dark blue. So I'm going to start off with the lightest, still working in those little line motions but on the most part I'm avoiding getting too close to the pupil because I don't want to take away from that grey I've put down there. I'm also focusing more on the left hand side than the right hand side. The light in this picture is coming from the right so the left side is darker. Now that I've got that first blue down it's time to move on to the mid-tone blue. I'm working in a similar way for this blue as I did for the previous one, but I'm clumping them together more to build up the texture. I'm going to start adding in a few little specks of this orangey brown now. Don't assume just because it's a blue eye that it has absolutely no brown in, because if you really look at a blue eye, it's rare that it is completely exclusively blue. So I'm gonna pop a few bits of that brown in and then move on to my darkest blue. For this blue, I'm focusing a little bit more on putting some colour around the edge and also making sure it's quite bright along the top of the eye. Usually around the top of the iris, it does get quite dark because of a shadow that's created from the eyelid. But I am leaving a couple of little patches of white up there just to add some shine and so the eye looks nice and glossy. I'm going to add a few more specks on the eye with this dark brown and also shade in the pupil at this point. It makes it much easier to visualise once the pupil's shaded in and it's easier to see what's missing elsewhere on the iris. Okay, now I've got my light grey and blue base built up. I want to start adding in some much darker values. So I've selected quite a bluey dark grey and I'm going to use this to really start defining some of the lines on here. So I am again really focusing on getting some darker values around the edge of the eye but I don't want it to be a really sharp crisp edge to the eye. So I'm blending out a little bit into where the white will be, I'm also blending it into the rest of the iris. But throughout this I am still working in those little lines going in towards the centre. Those of you who've watched my colour pencil videos before know that I like to start at the lightest colour, work up to the darkest and back to the lightest. So now I've worked down to the darkest colour I'm going to use on here, I'm going to work back through the colours and really build it up. And I find this helps to blend it all together and make it much more vibrant. Now I'm going to further add to the dark grey I was using earlier and fill in the pupil a little bit darker as well. I'm going to leave the iris like this for the time being and then later, once I've got the rest of the eye drawn, if I want to add anything to it then I can. I like to get an area to the point that I think I'm done, draw all the areas around it and then I can always add to it later if I realise that there's something missing. It just makes it a bit easier to visualise what's needed. So don't struggle to get an area perfect when you can always come back to it later. Now I'm going to move on to filling in the whites of the eyes. 
It's worth remembering that the whites of the eyes aren't white, they're generally made up of a series of greys. So I'm going to start off by getting a base layer down with the light grey, just very, very lightly. I'm going to pop a little bit of sort of skin tone right in this corner over to the left and then I'm going to start using a darker grey to add to the shading. Now the eye that I'm drawing here is actually in quite a well lit room, so the shading on the white of the eye isn't as prominent as some previous eyes I've drawn. But it is still a little bit darker towards the edge of the eye and then lighter towards the centre. This is because when you add dark colours to a drawing, it pushes the object back on the page, whereas lighter colours bring them forward. So you can see the darker colour is being used more around the edge to push it back. The white of the eye is still a fair bit darker on the left than the right because as I said earlier, the light in the drawing is coming from the right hand side of the picture. I do like to draw the tear duct at the same time as I'm drawing the white of the eye because I find it all easier to blend together. To draw the tear ducts, I'm working in a very similar way as I did for the iris. I'm starting off by putting the white sections down and then building from the lightest to the darkest and then back to the lightest. So starting with some light pinks and then adding in some darker reds and browns and a little bit of grey. The next thing I'm going to do is move on to the skin tones. I like to do the skin tones and the waterline before I do any of the eyelashes. You can see as I'm drawing the skin tone it builds up quite slowly but it is far easier to build it up slowly than to go in really dark with a colour straight off the bat. And on the most part the skin tone on this eye is quite light. There's a bit of a darker area from the shadow of the eyelashes that's over on the left hand side and the crease of the eyelid does get pretty dark. If you'd like to see a video on how to build up skin tones I'll pop a link in the description where I'm using polychromos pencils to draw skin. Once I'm happy with the colour of the skin I'm then going to go over it with the white pencil which is very good for blending. And you can see as I go over it how it makes it look far smoother. Now the last things to do is the eyelashes and any final touch-ups on the iris. So I'm going to start off by going in with a dark brown pencil to just mark out the eyelashes. The main thing to remember with eyelashes is that they don't just point up in a straight line and they're not all singular eyelashes. They tend to group together and also curve out to the sides and depending on which side of the eye they're on depends on the direction of their curve. For example, one's on the left, curve to the left, and then as you get further over to the right, they curve more to the right. And drawing them this way makes the eye look more rounded. So I'm gently sketching the eyelashes on and then going over them a little bit firmer with the same colour. I'm adding in the clumps and also making sure there's a few that are crossing over each other. And then exactly the same for the bottom lashes, but a little bit lighter and they're a bit more sparse. Once they're all marked out, I just need to accentuate some of them with some black and some grey. But I don't want to overuse particularly the black because it might stop it from looking natural. Now that I've drawn the whole eye, I can see a little bit clearer if there's anything that I need to add to the iris. And all I'm going to add is this dark blue kind of turquoise colour, just to bring out the blue and make the eye pop a bit more. So I'm adding it particularly around the edges again just to make sure that they're nice and dark and a little bit in the middle just to brighten it all up. And that is it. If you have any comments please leave them below and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can see more of my art tutorials. Of course give this video a like if you found it helpful. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.